Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert Strena will be discussing about how to access the Kubernetes dashboard. So let's get into the video. Different ways to access this dashboard and one of them is kubectl proxy. So what happens is this is typically you have Kubernetes cluster uh, with API server and um, uh, the dashboard already deployed inside that Kubernetes cluster um, on one of the nodes uh, as a pod and you have kubectl. So what you're going to do in this case is you deploy kubectl proxy in front of kubectl and you access it from the same machine on which your kubectl is running. So what happens? It creates a proxy between the local host um, where kubectl is installed um, and the Kubernetes API server. So you uh, you're going to access it with this URL HTTP and whatever is the local host and you're accessing it only from the machine where kubectl is installed. installed. So you'll go for URL kubectl uh, HTTPS localhost 8001 APIV uh, namespaces all this URL till here uh, proxy. So you go there and that will forward request over HTTP onto the kubectl and kubectl will then in turn securely connect to the API server. So it creates a proxy between the local host on which your kubectl is running and the API server. Uh, as I said, it's only accessible from uh, the kubectl host. Uh, then, now this configuration uses the configuration of API server in installed inside the kubectl and API server will then in turn uh, forward that request as a proxy. Uh, so the URL is uh, this. The other method of accessing is kubectl port forward. So in this particular case, uh, you are uh, you can access it not just HTTPS, HTTP or HTTPS, but also on TCP uh, port number or TCP protocol. So it's typically, uh, as a name suggests, port forward. You're accessing this URL again, same thing limited from kubectl host only. You're typing TCP localhost on whatever port number you have configured for port forwarding. That will forward request to kubectl API server and then API server in turn forwarding it to the dashboard port. So it's forwarding whatever request it's re receiving on 8080 port number, API server in turn will forward it to a kubectl port forward. So this way, uh, whatever access this kubectl, uh, it's, it's in turn using the kubectl method to access but over the browser. So that's kubectl port forward. Now, the, if you are exposing it to the external, ingress is another method you might have done, done when you're working on your administrator uh, certification. You must have deployed the applications on top of um, the Kubernetes cluster so that applications are exposed to the external through a uh, ingress controller, which is a layer seven uh, uh, load balancer URL. Again, if you're not clear with these um, ingress controller or uh, the basic concepts, again, uh, contact to support so we can give you some help on uh, basics of um, ingress controller. So what happens in this case, dashboard is ex ex exposed externally without the help of kubectl. So you're not interfacing with kubectl, you are using ingress controller and ingress controller in turn is forwarding um, to the pod but make sure you use RBAC con control so as I said earlier uh, the pod will be connecting to the Kubernetes cluster to extract all the information into that GUI tool uh, using a, um, a service account that service account should have necessary privileges or you only give access on the required privileges uh, if you're using ingress make sure that you also configure ldap authentication in um, uh, kubernetes cluster so this is uh, important now for the demo part we are using node port uh, so as you know any uh, this this dashboard is deployed or will be deployed as a pod inside the kubernetes cluster and like any other application you can um, expose the dashboard through a service which is which anyway you're going to typically do that and in that service even in ingress nginx ingress controller as well you're exposing you're connecting to through that service and or nginx ingress will connect to the service so that particular thing in order to show you how does it look like or how does dashboard look like for the demo part, we are exposing as a node port. So uh, in deployment, we are going to deploy the dashboard as a pod with listening on this um, uh, container will listen on a port. That container will be exposed through a service or this pod will be exposed through a service and that service will be listening on a node 
and we'll be accessing it through the node IP. So we are going to deploy uh, in, in the, one of the previous lessons, we'll deploy the Kubernetes cluster on, um, on a uh, cloud host. We are going to connect to the public IP of that host onto through this port number. That node port will forward request to the service. That service in turn will forward it to the dashboard and that's what we are going to do. So as a part of the deployment, which we are going to cover in the next lesson, you're going to deploy or configure a deployment. In that deployment, you will have a application or container inside the pod, um, which will be deployed through this image Kubernetes dashboard version 2.1. I'm recording this in a late 2020, early 2021. So you should be getting this Kubernetes dashboard version 2.1.0. How to get this dashboard, we'll see in the next uh, lesson. Uh, so this pod, and then this will also configure a service, um, and that service will be of type a node port. Um, if we see here, we'll change that to node port, and then we'll expose this uh, and we'll access it. Now, head on to the next lesson where we look at uh, the lab or we'll show you how to perform this dashboard. So there'll be a step-by-step -step activity guide as well as followed with a video to show you how to configure this dashboard or deploy this dashboard and access it via the node port of the public IP of the machine. And just to um, the place where you're watching this video, I'll share some links as well that will help you to understand that will give you some idea about dashboard as I was talking about. So this is a Kubernetes documentation worth looking at this documentation on Kubernetes dashboard. How does it look like? And as I said earlier, if you want to do kube proxy, this is the URL you can use for kube proxy. Now, in order for you to deploy the Kubernetes cluster, you'll be using um, this kubectl, apply this. This is the YAML file which uh, CNCF have given. So we'll use this CNCF uh, YAML file. And this is where you will be uh, checking or creating some service accounts, deployments, um, all those con configuration, all this. And then most important is this deployment I was talking earlier. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to dive deeper, then we have something really, really special for you. We have our free class on Docker and Kubernetes certification to get you higher paying jobs. And in this interactive session, we'll be learning about why learn containers, that is Docker's and Kubernetes. We'll be learning about the whole Docker container architecture. We'll be getting to know about some hands-on demo. You'll be getting to know the certifications regarding Kubernetes, CKA, CKS, and CKAD. And we do have Q&As along with a limited time gift. So if you want to enroll for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. And after that, you just have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, you just have to select an event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. You can add this URL to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.